Welcome. Welcome everybody to Rosary Confraternity Sunday. So much to celebrate and of course so much to pray for, especially as we think of our brothers and sisters on the East Coast. Yeah. Uh, so many of them right even this instance going through a lot. So um, definitely you can count on the whole Confraternity the Most Holy Rosary worldwide praying for your intentions. So I know Whenever there's anything we want prayed for, we have such solace. We take such solace in that. Um, now, today, of course, September 25th, very cool day because it's a special anniversary. And it was kind of a little bit of a tricky surprise link today. <laughs> um, we had the novena from Blessed Frederick from our first Canada 54 when Father Anthony Ho wrote a beautiful article about him in BC Catholic. So you might be saying, why did we actually put him on for today? Well, it's because in 1988, St. John Paul II actually beatified uh, Blessed Frederick on this day. This is when he became a blessed. And we have yeah. him right here. <laughs> and of course, for those of you that were with us last week, oh my goodness, you know, there we were talking about the Canadian martyrs or the American martyrs for our American friends as well. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's the North American martyrs. And the reality is that uh, without even knowing, we started speaking about them, and we realized that was the first day of the novena. So we're in day eight of a very important novena to the martyrs, you know, really requesting that the Marian devotional movement, in addition to the space that we've received in the service center, um, and uh, we have to say, this whole pilgrimage and trying to put together the broadcast, if there has ever been such a a poignant reason to have the Queen of Apostles under the guardianship of, of uh, the Marian Devotional Movement. This is it. Because, I mean, there's people that want to come, and, and, we, and there's volunteers. And wouldn't it be amazing as, as we go forward into 2023 and beyond, you know, that we can actually have a place to operate from to help Our Lady of the Cape really do uh, really go on the world stage even more and more because she she is the image that is connecting the world in prayer through the confraternity of the most holy rosary so i was in the annals again and this is cool you know we talk about the 1947 marian congress quite a bit this was actually the second crowning and it was actually the pope uh, the papal legate who actually crowned our lady of the cape in 1954. And that Marian Congress was massive. And we really haven't given it uh, the attention probably that it deserves. But it's one of, one of the really neat things is, and this was the month right after, I'll just read just even a couple of lines. It is humanly impossible to do justice to such an event or series of events as the National Marian Congress which has just been held at Cap de la Madeleine in honor of the Immaculate Mother of God. And of course, last week we spoke about the martyrs invoking the Immaculate Conception in order to evangelize North America. What I found striking about this account was prior to the Congress taking place, the Pilgrim Virgin was welcomed right here. It said that the Congress officially opened with midnight mass in the Cathedral of trois rivières celebrated by Bishop Peltier. And now, of course, we have Bishop Martin Laliberte there. And His Excellency had welcomed the Pilgrim Virgin a few hours previously on the return of Our Lady from a five-year odyssey across the whole of Canada. And he escorted her to the shrine for her triumphal hum homecoming a few minutes before the pontifical mass by Cardinal Leger. All this was happening in 1954. So history has really repeated it because the National Pilgrim Statue has indeed gone all across country to the, to the Rockies and back. And of course, the other one, uh, the three foot one that's just so adorable is in, in Whitehorse, going to be on its way back to Ontario. But it gives you a sense of the history and just how history repeats itself. And although we don't have the clamoring crowds, you know, we just have this little remnant of us that are praying. And you know what? Our lady is giving us some tools. She's giving us a movie. 
that's going to be broadcast the worldwide. She's given us authorization from the Dominican order to spread her confraternity. So we can really truly say that this is the right movie for the right time to uh, heal division by uniting us all under Our Lady of the Rosary through the confraternity of the Most Holy Rosary throughout the world. And as I just read, it's pilgrim statues that seems to really prepare the way. And a couple of things have happened this last this past week, and Angelina was sharing about this this morning. Look at this again, <laughs> again. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to share this lovely picture, and I'm going to uh, turn it over to you, my love, and you can just share a little bit about what's going on here. This is just so exciting because both of these priests, we have Father Fabio on the left, well, to my left, and some of you were on with us a couple of weeks ago when he was sharing. He is on fire for our lady of the cape he didn't even know about our queen our canadian queen and has now even designed a statue with a removable crown and then on the right on my right over here we have father what's his name father, father frank father sharma newly ordained <laughs> father frank sharma this is his first year first couple of months of ordination and what's amazing is that both of them you can see they have a relationship with our lady of the cape and again personal and it has to do with her statues i think we shared about this before that we've just seen in so many people's lives how our lady of the cape has specifically been revealing herself by her statues so father fabio has actually designed one and father frank actually is the one who restored the statue of our lady of the cape that was at the papal mass and the other extremely exciting news is that they are both coming to the broadcast of ewtn pilgrimage to our lady of the cape shrine and father frank's actually going to be able to stay with the the um carmelites, carmelites that are on site there i mean this is just so exciting it's going to be incredible 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 yeah so if you can imagine i mean think about it we just headed out to the rockies of course of the papal mass we knew neither of these priests but it is so evident that our lady has chosen them yeah. you know just hand oh, yeah. them <laughs> and they just love our lady of the cape they just love her so father frank actually is going to be at cap de la madeleine beginning october 5th and because he's just been ordained and just gone through this whole restoration of Our Lady, and by the way, the, the statue that he restored is going to be installed at Sutina, which is the reservation in Calgary. So that's really what's going to knit the East and West together as we establish the confraternity there. Anyways, he's coming for several days. So all of us are going to get to really spend some good quality time. And especially in Regina's, obviously, because, you know, there's something about when you're you're in church, it's it's hard sometimes to, to <laughs> yeah, not want to talk, talk, talk. But we really want to make sure there is a place, excuse me, a place in space where we can get together and fellowship. So Regina's is going to be that place. And it is really coming together. We were, uh, before we came on air, so to speak, and recorded, we were, and uh, began the recording, we were speaking about the image that we showed last week, which was the pilgrim statue at the Canadian Martyr Shrine in Midland. We have actually uh, gotten made a 40 by 65 inch image, and that's going to be placed prominently in Regina's because it just really ties together the story of Our Lady of the Cape going way back, obviously, to the very, very first days. So the last thing before we get to the novena, and just to give you a sense that, you know, Our Lady has been doing big things at the shrine for a long time. And I just want to give you a sense also of that 1954 Congress, just going to talk about that. This is the nun. Her name is uh, Sister Paul Emil of the Grey Nuns of the Cross in Ottawa. She's actually the one that put together the play that was for in 1947. That was, she's the one who wrote and orchestrated the play. So when they got to 1954, they commissioned her to write another play. And just to give you a sense of the big thinking. So we can be big thinkers here. We can use our imagination. And, and this hopefully is going to help you see that. She ends up writing a play about her who from sea to sea spreads her protecting mantle. 
And here's what they say. <laughs> it's incredible. <clears throat> the greater part of the spectacle will be in pantomime. The talking tableau are few in number, thus as was the case of Our Lady of Fair Love, and that was in the 1947 Congress. So all the people of the district of Trois de Vier and the thousands of pilgrims who will be coming to the Congress from all parts of Canada and even of the United States may get a chance to see the play. Get this, there will be a performance every week, evening from the 5th to the 15th of August, inclusively of August, inclusively and three or four and three or four matinees during the day. Guess how many people are scheduled to be at each one? 3,500 to 5,000 <laughs> at each event. That's what they did in 1954. I mean, they thought big. I couldn't believe it. I just <laughs> fell off my chair when I, when I read that. This is what they did. They, they went really big. So when we talk about you know, really coming and reclaiming and just seeing our Mary's domain just renewed as this beacon of light for the world to connect the world in prayer through the Holy Rosary. This has been done before. We're not doing anything new here. You know, Our Lady has been doing incredible things at, at her domain for decades and decades and literally centuries and centuries. So, Let's with earnest now pray the novena, our eighth day, that we be entrusted with the Queen of Apostles. <clears throat> In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. O God, who by the preaching and the blood of your blessed martyrs, John and Isaac and their companions, consecrated the first fruits of the faith in the vast regions of North America, graciously grant that by their intercession, the flourishing harvest of Christians may be everywhere and always increased through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. And now our prayer petition. O oh God, who inflame the hearts of your blessed martyrs with an admirable zeal for the salvation of souls, Grant us, we beseech you, that if it be the will of the Immaculata, that the Queen of Apostles Retreat Center be entrusted to the Marian devotional movement. Amen. Amen. Saint Jean de Brebeuf. Pray for us. Saint Isaac Jogue. Pray for us. Saint Gabriel Lalema. Pray for us. Saint Anthony Daniel. Pray for us. Saint Charles Garnier. Pray for us. Saint Noel Chabanel. Pray for us. Saint René Goupil. Pray for us. Saint Jean de la Lande. Pray for us. Holy Mary, Queen of Martyrs. Pray for us. Queen of the Most Holy Rosary. Pray for us. Our Lady of the Cape, Queen of Apostles. Pray for us. Our Lady of the Cape, Queen of Intercessors. Pray for us. In the name of the Father and the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. And now we'll invite. Uh, Lorena to get us going in the Holy Rosary. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. We offer this rosary today in line with our own intentions um, for the rescue efforts and healing for the people out in the East Coast and for all the members of the Rosary Confraternity, both living and deceased. I believe in God, Father Almighty. Just notice that Jesus is there in the monsters. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord who was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, 
the resurrection of the body and life everlasting. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. The three theological virtues of faith, hope, and charity. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. We contemplate the glorious mysteries. The first glorious mystery, the resurrection of Jesus. As it says in 1 Corinthians chapter 15, 20 to 27, Christ has been raised from the dead. For just as in Adam all die, so too in Christ shall all be given life. Pray ye our Father slowly, listening to and meaning each word. Give special emphasis to Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. We admit that because of our sinfulness, we inherit death from Adam and we need God's forgiveness. But we enter into Christ's resurrection and receive eternal life as we forgive others, for it is in giving that we receive. Did Mary forgive those who tortured and killed her son? She held no grudges as she wept at the foot of the cross. And then as she held the lifeless body of Jesus in her arms, her soul proclaimed the resurrection, the glory of God, as she made the decision to forgive. We pray for the virtue of faith. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. 
Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and to the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, a world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls to heaven, especially those most in need of thy mercy. Ave, ave, ave Maria, ave. Ave Maria. Our Lady of the Cape, Queen of Intercessors, pray for us who have recourse to thee. Saint Joseph, Terror of Demons, protect us. Michael the Archangel, defend us. Sacred Heart of Jesus, have mercy on us and on the whole world. The second glorious mystery, the ascension of Jesus. As it says in Revelation chapter 12, verse 1, one to ten. She gave birth to a son. Her child was snatched up to God and his throne. Now have salvation and power come, and the authority of Christ, the anointed one. Even though Mary was the mother of Jesus, and he respected her authority as a parent, she freely gave herself over to his authority from the moment she said, yes, let it be done to me as the father wills. And Jesus was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit. How fully have we let Jesus be an authority over us? Let us ask the Blessed Mother to help us put aside our own will when it conflicts with his. And we pray for the virtue of hope. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. 
as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, a world without end. Amen. Oh my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. Ave, Ave, Ave Maria. Ave, Ave, Ave Maria. Our Lady of the Cape, Queen of Intercessors. We pray, to, pray for us with recourse to thee. St. Joseph, Terror of Demons. Protect us. St. Michael, the Archangel. Defend us. Sacred Heart of Jesus. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. The third glorious mystery, the descent of the Holy Spirit. As it says in Luke chapter 1, verse 39 to 56, Elizabeth was filled with the Holy Spirit and cried out, Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb. How does it happen that the mother of my Lord should come to me? It is only through the Holy Spirit that we are able to become aware of Mary's presence in our lives. She cares about us as much as our own mothers have and even more because she was and is full of grace and full of love. She knows each of us by name. She is glad to be asked to pray for us. She wants to help. She is constantly working on our behalf behind the scenes of our every the scenes of our everyday trials. To know this more clearly, we need to ask the Holy Spirit to reveal her to us. And we pray for the virtue of love. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God. Pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, a world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls into heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. Ave, ave. Ave Maria, Ave, Ave, Ave Maria. 
Our Lady of the Cape, Queen of Intercessors. Pray for us who have recourse to thee. St. Joseph, Terror of Demons. Protect us. St. Michael, the Archangel. Defend us. Sacred Heart of Jesus. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. The fourth glorious mystery, the Assumption of the Blessed Virgin Mary into Heaven. As it says in Revelation chapter 12, verse 1 to 10, a great sign appeared in the sky, a woman clothed with the sun, with the moon beneath her feet. Because Mary was full of grace, she overcame all temptations to sin. When she reached the end of her earthly life, her full level of holiness enabled her to immediately receive her glorified body. The restored, unaffected by sin body, like we shall all receive at the second coming of Christ. Because Mary did not succumb to death by sinning, her flesh never lost its eternal life, and thus she was assumed or transferred bodily to heaven. May her example of holiness assist us in our journey toward heaven. Let us ask her to share with us the grace that helped her to resist sin. And we pray for the grace of a happy death. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, a world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls into heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. Ave, Ave, Ave Maria, Ave, Ave, 
Ave Maria. Our Lady of the Cape, Queen of Intercessors. Pray for us who have recourse to thee. Saint Joseph, terror of demons. Protect us. Saint Michael, the archangel. Defend us. Sacred heart of Jesus. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. The fifth glorious mystery, the crowning of the Blessed Virgin Mary as our queen. As it says in Psalm 45, verse 10 to 16, the queen stands at your right hand, arrayed in gold of Ophir. As our Holy Queen, Mary cares for us and intercedes for us to the king. She knows the king's desires intimately. So when we need help in discerning our father's plan for us, we can ask her to reveal it to us. When we stray from the kingdom, she points the way home. We would do well to acknowledge her queenship and her motherly authority over us, obediently trusting in her the way a child trusts its mama. And we pray for eternal salvation. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God. Pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, a world without end. Amen. O oh my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls to heaven, especially those most in need of thy mercy. Ave, Ave, Ave Maria, Ave, Ave, Ave Maria. Our Lady of the Cape, Queen of Intercessors, pray for us who have recourse to thee. St. Joseph, terror of demons, protect us. St. Michael, the archangel, defend us. Sacred heart of Jesus, have mercy on us and on the whole world. 
Hail, Holy Queen, Mother of Mercy, our life, our sweetness, and our hope. To thee do we cry, poor, banished children of Eve. To thee do we send up our sighs, mourning and weeping in this valley of tears. Turn then, most gracious advocate, thine eyes of mercy toward us, and after this our exile, show unto us the blessed fruit of thy womb, Jesus. O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary, pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Amen. To you, O blessed Joseph, do we come in our tribulation, and having implored the help of your most holy spouse, we confidently invoke your patronage also. Through that charity which bound you to the Immaculate Virgin Mother of God, and through the paternal love with which you embrace the child Jesus, we humbly beg you graciously to regard the inheritance which Jesus Christ has purchased by his blood, and with your power and strength to aid us in our necessities. O most watchful guardian of the Holy Family, defend the chosen children of Jesus Christ. O most loving Father, ward off from us every contagion of error and corrupting influence. O our most mighty protector, be kind to us and from heaven assist us in our struggle with the power of darkness. As once you rescued the child Jesus from deadly peril, so now protect God's holy church from the snares of the enemy and from all adversity. Shield to each one of us by your constant protection so that supported by your example and your aid, we may be able to live piously, to die in holiness and to obtain eternal happiness in heaven. Amen. St. Michael, the archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the heavenly host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of the Father, send now your spirit over the earth. Let the Holy Spirit live in the hearts of all nations, that they may be preserved from degeneration, disaster, and war. May the Lady of all nations, the Blessed Virgin Mary, be our advocate. Amen. Sacred Heart of Jesus, pour out your benedictions upon the Holy Church, upon its priests, upon its tallest children. Sustain the just, convert the sinners, assist the dying, deliver the souls in purgatory, extend over all hearts the sweet empire of your love. Sacred Heart of Jesus, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Amen. For the most holy intentions of our Holy Father, Pope Francis. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, to the Son, to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, a world without ends. Amen. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. And now we can begin the Divine Mercy Chaplet. The Chaplet of Divine Mercy. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. You expired, Jesus, but the source of life gushed forth for souls, and the ocean of mercy opened up for the whole world. O fount of life, unfathomable divine mercy, envelop the whole world and empty yourself out upon it. O blood and water, which gush forth from the heart of Jesus as a fount of mercy for us. I trust in you. O blood and water, which gushed forth from the heart of Jesus as a fount of mercy for us. I trust in you. O blood and water, which gushed forth from the heart of Jesus as a fount of mercy for us. I trust in you. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. 
And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there, he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. An atonement for our sins and the sins of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. An atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. An atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy for us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal Father. 
we offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. An atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal Father, we offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. An atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. Holy God, holy mighty one, holy immortal one. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. Holy God, holy mighty one, holy immortal one. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. Holy God. Holy Mighty One, Holy Immortal One, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal God, in whom mercy is endless and the treasury of compassion inexhaustible, look kindly upon us and increase your mercy in us, that in difficult moments we might not despair nor become despondent, but with great confidence submit ourselves to your holy will, which is love and mercy itself. Amen. Jesus, I trust in you. Jesus, I trust in you. Jesus, I trust in you. St. Faustina, pray for us. St. John Paul II, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Well, thank you everyone for joining us today in prayer. That was wonderful. And uh, we want to continue to share with you testimonies as they keep coming in. And this is actually from the Queenship of Mary sisters when they were on their tour. And it's a blessed rose, another testimony of healing. So that's very exciting. And it's and this is coming from Sister Rose Claire. Hi, Dennis and Angelina. Here's the testimony from a lady in Mary's town. And she says, this person, uh, I do have to share that a man spoke to me in Holy Mass last evening. This is what he had to say. He had a fall down at Christmas time and did a lot of damage to his arm and was rushed to Health Science in St. John's, where he was for a month. He had been in pain ever since until he went to receive from you sisters and asked you to pray for his arm. To back up a little, before he came to the church, he had left the house intending on going to the YMCA for exercise on his arm and shoulder. Something caused him to change his mind, and he came to the church. 
He says that his arm is healed and expressed the fact and rose on his arm, both arms, in fact, both arms lifting up high. He said it was Sister Bernard that he blessed him and gave him a full rose. He is so <laughs> excited and thankful. So, yay, that's great. Hey, thank you, Lady yeah. Kate, for that, uh, for your PowerPoint intercession for that. So we'll keep them. And as people keep continuing to get your testimonies, you can send them in to testimony at the mdm.org. That's testimony at the mdm.org. And we would love to keep sharing them. Now, one of the things we want to share about, which is very exciting too, for those of you who can join us either online or in person, is on uh, um, October 7th, what we'll be able to do is because a lot of you have a lot to do with the Bridge of Roses, this DVD now that has come out. You've either supported us through prayers or even finance and all the ways that you've helped us out. It's been incredible. So for us as the MDM family, we're going to present this to Our Lady of the Cape before we begin the movie and ask for her blessings on it and for it to spread worldwide. So we want to thank you all again so much for all of your help in this. This is all of us together giving this gift to Our Lady on the Feast of the Holy Rosary. Now with that, because we are still such a remnant, but Mother Mary is doing amazing things, <laughs> we still need Need help, 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 because we uh, we don't have a whole marketing team. So we got to help get the word out about Bridge of Roses that's going to be played on EWTN September 5th at 10 o'clock at night. And then also on uh, the Feast of the Holy Rosary, October 7th at 3.30 in the afternoon. So we had got this magazine in the mail from someone who used to live here called the uh, Vision, which is a 2023 Catholic religious vocation discernment guide. And in here is just like tons and tons of apostolates of uh, religious orders. So for anyone who's local and has some extra time this next week, I'd be happy to give you this magazine if you feel like emailing out to some people about the movie. But for any of you, actually, if you have any extra time at all, you can contact us at rosarybridge.com, send us an email, and we'll be happy to send you an email that you can just fire away to as many Catholic apostolates or religious communities or our friend, family and friends, anybody you can think about that might be interested in watching the Bridge of Roses. Yeah, and that shareable link, so, and obviously we're going to be putting this on the daily email quite a bit. So when somebody goes to the EWTN Bridge of Roses broadcast schedule, you heard me say this at the beginning, the right movie at the right time to heal division and inspire a generation to unite with Our Lady of the Rosary in prayer throughout the world. And of course, that's already starting to take place. But just to give us a, just a reminder of the magnitude of the reach of EWTN, EWTN is the largest religious media network in the world. EWTN's 11 global TV channels are broadcast in multiple languages 24 hours a day, seven days a week, over 400 million television households in more than 150 countries and territories. Their platforms also include radio services transmitted through Sirius, XM, iHeartRadio, and over 500 domestic and international AM and FM radio affiliates. So one of the certain dreams we have for up at the Cape is to become eventually an EWTN radio affiliate. If everything just keeps going, we're just giving little, little uh, seeds of where all of this can be going down the road. Because... The reality is, over the last several years, the Marian Devotional Movement has been become networked with many, many, uh, you know, influencers in the Catholic world, both in the hierarchy, in media, just many influencers. And I must say that EWTN is one of those platforms that, uh, most particular, it seems that Our Lady is is drawing certain individuals to in order to be able to collaborate. You know, you think about Father Donald Calloway, his book, St. Joseph, I mean, they just, they spread those all over the place. So so Father Donald Calloway, Father Chris Alar, a lot of you watch him. He's now the superior, obviously, of the MICs. He's doing a lot of work with EWTN and, and obviously is uh, is somebody that we're affiliated with as well. So as we go forward, let's just keep all these things in mind and, and really begin to start sharing with people um, especially in this next week, the schedule and, and all people have to do really is go to this link. This, by the way, this is a clickable link so people can go right to the station and either watch it on demand or 
uh, get the, the times that are here and watch it on the TV. And then obviously uh, eight o'clock Eastern, that'll be next uh, on the 5th. So Father Mitch Packwell will be interviewing. I'll be at actually the shrine in the office that we broadcast from overlooking the miracle of the ice bridge. So that's pretty cool. And Kevin will actually be in studio in Alabama. Um, now, October uh, 6th, because this is just the broadcast schedule, and this we should mention, is going to be the Francophone uh, screening of the film. And just this past week, we confirmed something very, very cool. So, actually, I'm going to stop share for a second. So, <laughs> this particular book here, The Story of Our Lady of the Cape, this is the English version of it. And it was, it was put together by Father Paul Arsenault. And those of you who have been to Captain de Madeleine and who've done candlelight processions, chances are it was Father Paul, if it was one of the priests that was singing as you went around St. Mary Lake holding one of those candles. So he has put together many, many books. This is one of them. This is the English translation. Well, as it happens, he was speaking with us and saying, oh, yes, uh, one of my good friends at the Sisters of the Holy Family is uh, Sister Olivette Plou. Now, just to give you um, a reminder, the Sisters of the Holy Family, of course, that's Blessed Mother Marie Leone's order. <laughs> so we reached out to them, and guess who's coming to the film screening for the Francophones? Yes, Father Paul's good friend from the Sisters of the Holy Family. So can you imagine when she's watching her, her foundress's story in the actual shrine on this big screen TV. And we've also invited Father uh, Roland Bonafant from the Franciscans, who's in the movie. He's going to be there too. So even if you don't speak French, it's going to be a riot just to watch these people watch the film. <laughs> yeah, they're all good. And, and I don't know, like, just imagine, because we have a 65-inch screen, high-def, 4K TV, all the bells and whistles. Can you imagine watching Our Lady's face animate and she's just like a few feet away in the distance and you're going to be watching that. So, so these folks are going to get that experience. Father Paul is going to be there. He's going to be and he's got a song that he wrote about Our Lady of the Cape and he shared that with us at breakfast the last time that we were there. He's going to share the story of how that song came about. Oh, my goodness. And also, who knows? Maybe Mother Mary would open up her eyes again. My honey found out in the annals that she did it more times, even yeah. after the time that on June 22nd that we had found out about. That's true. So you just never know. You, you know? never know. And also, if there's anybody that is watching that is going to be joining us live at the Shrine, either on October 5th, 6th, or 7th, Please contact us if you speak French. We would really love to speak to you. Maybe you can help us out a little bit. So as you can see, Our Lady is making this particular pilgrimage, broadcast pilgrimage, that much more irresistible each and every day. She just keeps <laughs> adding more elements, more elements, more elements. And yeah, I mean, if you can be there or if you're on the fence, I would say, please really consider making the effort to be there. Um, you know, it, it was an effort going all the way to the Rockies and back with Our Lady <laughs> of the Cape, but we would not have missed it for the world. So, you know, if Our Lady is calling you to come and be part of what is historic, this will be the inaugural, the inaugural, obviously, Marian devotional movement presence. And this is going to be a time where not only are we networking with, uh, with each other, but we're also integrating, obviously, the Francophone community, some key priests. I mean, think about Christine is coming from out west, which is amazing. She, she helped organize many of, the, many of the events out west. As Angelina mentioned, Father Frank Sharma is coming. Father Fabio is coming. He'll be celebrating Mass in the Shrine. Boy, just even that, he's so excited little secret, we spoke with him on, on Zoom last night, and oh my goodness, his heart is so at the shrine. Our Lady <laughs> is, I don't know what she's doing with this priest, but oh my goodness, it is palpable. <laughs> so, so, so yeah, these few days are going to be absolutely remarkable. We're really thankful for Chris, who's going to be coming up with us to help get Regina set up, because 
all the images we just told you about one image we've, we've gotten a lot of images blown up that are going to be on the walls so that when you go in there you're going to realize oh my goodness this is incredible what our lady is doing in in, in our midst we're gonna have incredible sacramentals available too for people we had a precious soul linda who put together all these little bottles of the holy water from lax and that pope, our holy father pope francis is blessed and it's also been blessed by many other priests so we have a bunch of those available as well plus the blessed rose petals plus we'll have uh blessed roses as well that will be free as well that were handmade by precious women in the windsor area so it's all it's going to be very exciting Speaking of Windsor, oh, in the annals, you know what I found out that I didn't know? Before, on their last trip to the, the Congress, starting at May 1st, they started in Windsor, Ontario with the Pilgrim statue. Just like what we did this last year. We didn't even know that they, they did one from Windsor to the gate. So now, October 7th at 11 a.m. is going to be when Holy Mass is. Let's think about this. Bishop. Martin La Liberté. You've seen what has taken place in his heart and mind since he watched the movie. It's a must, he says now. <laughs> oh my goodness. He is going to have the opportunity to celebrate Holy Mass for the very first time on the very first patronal feast of Our Lady of the Rosary in the shrine of Our Lady of the Rosary that morning. So that is going to be something to just be part of, you know, and obviously that's something you can do from the Shrine Cam, or if you can be with us, it's going to be, again, another special moment. So, you know, there's going to be many, many memorable special moments that are going to be built as we're, as we're there. And also just to pray, to walk the grounds, to pray, and to begin to get a sense of, you know, how is... You know, we've all been written into the story. We've talked about that. All of us has been written into the story over this, these last few years as we've been praying together. And as you walk the grounds, Our Lady, you know, she speaks to you. She'll say, here's how I want you to help me help make my son known and loved. She'll do that as you walk the grounds. So um, could be that you, you see need some landscaping in the odd place here. Who knows? Whatever. But, <laughs> there's so much to be so done. Much there's to be so done. Yeah. much to be done. Whatever people have gifts and talents of, I'm sure you could use it some way, somehow. All right. So before, we're, we're going to close off the recording part of this and then um, have some fellowship after so and unmute everybody. So in the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, amen. amen. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord let his face shine on you and be gracious to you. May the Lord uncover his face to you and bring you peace. Amen. To Christ our Lord, in the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. God bless you all. You know that the prayer power hour is on this week. Um, oh, Father Lawrence Lou, he said last week, he's again, he's heading to the States. So he's going to be in Alabama the same time that the uh, screening is happening. So there is no Rosary Confraternity Friday this Friday, but he will uh, resume the following Friday. Uh, next Sunday, we will be en route to the Cape. So please pray for us. We know you will be. And God bless you. And we'll see you from Cap de la Madeleine. Bye for, Bye for now.